Tony, how are you? Doing great, Joel. How are you doing, boss? Good. So we're so happy that you're here today. You got somebody really cool in the house. Tell us what is happening and who you have with you today. So, uh, yeah, we do the monthly uh, Tony P. Networking events, and we're going to be at Clutch Bar again on October 15th. We actually did our uh, event there back in February right before their grand opening, so that was really cool. We packed the place, and uh, it, was, it was awesome. And uh, we will dine to do something there again. So uh, I brought Drew here, who's one of the partners from a uh, clutch group that runs uh, Clutch Bar and Concrete Cowboy here in Chicago. Hey, Drew, welcome to the show, man. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for having I me. I didn't realize last time when we were there it wasn't even open. It was so packed. This is what this guy does, right? We weren't even open yet. Yeah, I think it was snowing on the ground, and uh, Tony's like, let's just throw an event before we, we crack open the door. So Tell us, for the, the people that are watching, what that scene was like, and what was it like in the room? You know what? To not see anyone in the room yet was unbelievable. I mean, everything that comes with it and opening a new venue in Chicago yeah. and like being from Texas and transplanting, you know, a new concept in the middle of a huge food and beverage city. And then to see this guy, you know, walk in with 350 people is unbelievable. <laughs> you know, the energy was great. It was a weeknight. It was cold. and It was packed. Cold, packed. I mean, you couldn't have fit many more people in there. I think drinks were flowing and people were having a good time. Yeah, it was, it was pretty tight in there. That's amazing, though, and that's what the power of what you do, and you're actually bringing it to the people, and it's not just about drinking. It's about networking, and you really put that together. Tammy, every time you're at one of those events, you know that you're not just about drinking, but you're going to meet people, right? Absolutely. Every time. It's it's building, meeting and building these uh, new, very, very valuable relationships, and I just had Josh and Lauren uh, here that flew in from the Seattle area and introduced them to Tony P., mm -hmm. and I said, he's kind of like the social governor of Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> Social governor, I like that. Yeah, and, and, yeah. But it's kind of true, and so I Get do love these events. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but value value is really what you bring at these events. And I love Clutch; it's a great place to do it. What a what an amazing space! And yeah, so Tony, we see you here all the time. I'm just gonna like throw this away and just ask questions, or not just even ask questions. I'm just gonna stare at the good looking gentleman you have right next to you. Can you guys move the camera away from Tony and just focus in? Yeah, I'm on here all Tell the time. Tell me all about your Tell life and time. how Give you some, started yeah. this company. I'll pretend I'm listening to you. You know what? I actually did not start the company. Oh, um, darn it. I have three you know, partners now that, are, that have become awesome friends of mine. Um, when they branched out of, of Texas and you know built a company there to bring you know this concept Concrete Cowboy to Chicago, I uh, joined the group and then kind of branched off from there. We did Clutch Bar. Um, and really took it to the next level. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I did not start the company, but joining up with it and kind of expanding it in a new market. And a market like Chicago has been unbelievable for me. Tell us a little bit about your service model. Like, what is the expectation? Why should people visit this space? You know what? We wear a lot of hats. You know, it's like, the first off, and I pride myself on this from any venue that I've ran or been a part of, is that it's built from the inside out. You know, the staff is, is key. You know, I love everyone that works for me. I have a personal relationship with all of them. And they give us, you know, it's hospitable. You know, that's hospitality is what we do. And they offer, you know, a great, great service to everyone that comes in. Um, but, you know, we were kind of, you know, a, a broader range of like a different concept built in one. You know, we have a great happy hour, awesome dinner menu. And then we lead into, you know, great nightlife. You know, so we kind of, we kind of do it all and, and you know, excel at, at every part of it. Um, it's been nice to, to really kind of up our game, you know, with the aesthetic and, and our first time hiring like a full design team with clutch and beautiful chandeliers and, you know, floor to ceiling windows and like mirrored walls and, um, you know, really bring a different dynamic to the city and kind of give Chicago a little bit of something that wasn't really there. Um, so it's been nice to, you know, have a warm welcome coming from basically like a sports bar concept to, you know, more of like a restaurant meets uh, nightclub concept with clutch. And uh, we couldn't really ask for any more. Drew, so as you've heard, our realtor industry has been talking about like a adjustment or recession or a change in dynamics into sure. the spending power of, you know, the city. What are you seeing in the entertainment world? I mean, are you seeing a lot of commercial space are now becoming available? So a lot of new restaurants and entertainment centers are opening up. But where do you see your business going? You know what? I It's it's crazy because I, I try to walk as much as I can just to, like, see what is going on in the city. You know, I live in River North and both businesses are five, six blocks from my house. But to kind of like walk past, you know, different venues that have closed or different, you know, restaurants or things like that. And the new new people and new concepts come to the market. Um, I know I think that the market's just it's it's booming a little bit. You know, just in the last like six months, we've had probably, you know, six to ten places or, or venues open up, you know, kind of close to like where we are. 
um, in the River North neighborhood. And um, as we came to Chicago three years ago, you know, and have two venues, we're looking to expand up here as well. So we should have another one within the next year. Congratulations. Ooh, nice. Thank I you. mean, it just shows you, right, the, the amount of uh, buying power that there is or spending power that there is in the city. Um, and so I don't <laughs> think that, you know, Chicago is a Midwest <clears throat> city and there's so much to do here. The entertainment scenery right like the restaurants and the nightlife there's always so something to do and i like to key you know showcase these events here on market overdrive just because it gives you something to do so you can never say you're going to stay at home and be bored because there's <laughs> always something to do another organization to give back and you guys have uh, been very giving and have provided us access to your spaces also for st jude and any like of our, our of our events or to give back so thank you so much for that we appreciate that of course anytime the Absolutely. doors are always open and that's something that's key right in collaboration between the commercial <coughs> world and um the real estate industry um because we're again we're in the business in the people business and so giving back and aligning yourself if a realtor or anyone in the industry wanted to get a hold of you or to participate or work with you or collaborate with you and your companies how can we do that um email is the best way uh for me uh, you know my my email is drew d-r-e-w-p at so clutch um other than that i mean my, my cell phone's always on. That thing just does not, does not turn off. I mean, we're we're up 24/7 working. So.